It's a new week and we are back trucking again. We're gonna be pulling into Pooler, Georgia here, Keen Transfer. We're gonna be picking up two skid steers here and then we are going to head to another part of Georgia, but it's called like Cairo or I don't even remember. Anyways, then we're gonna pick up a boob lift there and then we're gonna head up to Iowa with them and get them unloaded hopefully like Friday, Saturday. We got loaded up. I am sweating like a dog, man. Holy smokes. I think it's just the humidity more than the heat, but anyways, we're gonna get washed up here. We gotta get the skid steers washed off, and then we're gonna be on our way to our other pickup. Hopefully we get there in time. So we're gonna get there at like three o'clock right now, so they close at four, so it's gonna be a close call, but worst case, we pick up in the morning. This is the wash area, you just pull in here and you can see they spray off all the mud and stuff, which is really nice for going down the road, you know? Well, we're taking the back roads of Georgia over here to uh, whatever city this is here. And I will say this is probably one of the nicest uh, trips I've had through Georgia. Just no traffic and smooth sailing. This is by far one of the loudest APUs I've ever heard. This thing is just pounding, dude. I, I don't really have a problem with noise and sleeping, but I feel like if somebody did, the strap came off. Caught it looks like uh, somebody did. I don't know how they would sleep with that thing on, you know. But anyways, I don't know if I even showed you guys the load yet. Parked here in Paducah yesterday, so we got about six hours to our first drop to get this lift off here. But as you can see, my strap. Maybe you can't see it. A strap here. Cut itself in half. I had it up over this thing. Made it. So, a place called Hoover Rentals. So they bought this thing to rent it back out. But I don't know if I ever showed you guys my entire load. This morning was real dark out. Got a couple JCBs on here. So we picked this up in Cairo, Georgia, and it is in uh, something with a C, Iowa here. <laughs> Can't remember what it's called now, but anyways, this thing has a pretty severe oil leak on it. As soon as you start up, you can see the oil all over my deck, but once you start it up and raise the arm up, you'll just see it start pouring out of there. But anyways, I'm gonna get unchained so they can get it off here. Oh, while we're sitting here for the weekend and uh, Iowa ran to the parts store and got some parts here. I got some windshield crack filler and some other stuff to work on the trailer. I'm gonna replace some other three airbags. Oh, we just got done replacing all the bags on here. As you can see, these ones were getting kind of wore out. Uh, this one actually looks not as good, a little dirty, but you just see it was kind of getting that dry rot to it, so. We put all new bags on. This is the one that was blown out up there. Got that one done. It took me like five minutes to do this one. And then these ones in the back. Shined up my tires today. Got the truck washed earlier today. Um, these ones in the back, the bolts are like underneath the slider part. Crawl back over here. So you can't see very well, but they're like up in here. So you can't get a wrench, uh, electric wrench on there. I had to hand, hand do them things, man. Let me tell you, that was time consuming and a pain in the rear. So anyways, we got her done. Happy to have new bags on here. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is put some new shocks on here. Just do preventative stuff, you know and taking a look at the brakes. I'm gonna have to put new brakes on here. Yeah, it feels good to do stuff by yourself. You know, it's a 
one of them things you do it and then you feel pretty accomplished. So it feels good. Um, also keeps me busy on my 34 hour reset here because I don't load up until Monday. And I'm actually gonna do, they asked me to do, um, it was a three trip, it was three trips. So I'm gonna load up, go to Rochester, Minnesota, load in Rochester, Minnesota, it's the same place I deliver, and then come back to Omaha, and then reload in Omaha, and then go back to Rochester. So that was pretty sweet, really happy that worked out. Pays good, so uh, it's like 40,000 pounds of fence, I think they said, fence panels and whatnot, so anyways. I'm going to get cleaned up here and get all my tools put away and we'll check back in with you guys a little later on. We're at the, uh, we're in Walnut, Iowa right now at the come and go. Seems like it's a brand new one. Here's what we got on today. Bunch of fencing product. I think I told you guys about this last week. We got three runs, so I'm going to go deliver this one. I was really hoping that I was going to be able to deliver it today, but when I got there this morning, there was somebody in there getting unloaded and that took over an hour to get him unloaded which pretty much was gonna put me late for my delivery so it was already scheduled for tomorrow morning but you know it, it would have been nice to be able to just get it delivered today get it reloaded so i could just get back on my way because it's only five hours there you know so anyways we're gonna be stuck getting it unloaded tomorrow and then uh we gotta go to omaha to unload the second one and then right back to la vista to reload back for rochester on wednesday so that's the plan but we're gonna get this thing fueled up here finally i found so i got three different fuel cards that i use or fuel things that i use i've got rts um rxo and then i use mud flap and uh highly recommend mud flap to everybody because it's free uh, there's no credit checks or anything. Uh, link is in the bio. RTS, what I do with RTS is I actually have a uh, Pilot Direct billing. And Pilot, I've actually been filling up at a lot because they've beat pretty much every other fuel discount out there. Uh, it's beat Mudflap and it's beat the RXO card. So this time, this RXO card is actually beating the other one. So anyways, that's the plan. We're gonna get this thing fueled up and get back on the way. Got pretty dirty moving my tarps today. So I'll have to get showered up once we get to Rochester and change up, so. I remember where I left off with you guys. I parked in Cass in Minnesota here last night at the quick trip. From the road, I always thought it was like a bigger parking lot than it is, I guess at the quick trip here it's not very big and there's like lots of drop trailers and stuff so quite a few spots were taken up anyways that's where we parked here last night uh so we're only 14 minutes away from where we're gonna deliver looks like we're gonna get there about 7 30 which they open at 8 so the thing is yesterday my intention was to get loaded and unloaded the same day well, I got there at 8, and there was already somebody in there getting unloaded, and it took it over an hour. I think I told you guys that. Over an hour and a half to get them unloaded, which screwed me over for getting here to get unloaded the same day, because it took them, I don't even know, probably two hours to get me loaded. It's not, he was like consistently loading me, but it's like fence stuff. All the fence stuff is just kind of like weird, and it takes a minute to put it together or something I really don't know but hopefully we can get this off get it loaded right back up and ideally ideally make it to get unloaded today well we went ahead got the trailer washed up last night threw some tire stuff on there myself looks pretty dang good I shine up these I put some wheel covers on there mixed feelings on those we'll see if I like those in the long run but I did put some on the front again because the other ones I, that I had on there were just push on and the one fell off so I had to replace it but anyways this is our one partial that we got here this is going to Miami 
and then we're gonna pick. She's gonna pick up another partial in Knoxville here. It's gonna be a like a tanker truck, and that's basically going to uh, Miami as well. It's called Belglade, so not too far away, anyways. I should say it is Miami, but. We're going to throw that on the back part there and then deliver those on Monday. So we'll catch back up with you guys once we get a little farther along. Well, as I was pulling away, I remembered I was going to get some fuel. So here we are. There is not much more. I should say there's not many more things that make me cringe, like water spots on the windows, man. I started driving this morning and it was just like, they were so, they were just like all over the windshield. So, and my windows and my mirrors. So I just stopped here. I gotta wash, yeah, my windows need to be cleaned anyways. We just got loaded up here in uh, Knoxville at Knox Trailer. As you can see back there, we got a truck on there. Drove it on there all by myself, come on. And then went in and uh, spent 1500 bucks on new, new brakes, new drums and new shocks. So, yeah, this whole load to fix my trailer back up. These are uh, new brakes, or our drums, and our uh, canisters, chambers. I put my shocks in there, and then I just stacked all my, I'm gonna move them all to the bunk, but as you can see, we got all our new brakes. So I'm actually pretty excited to get those changed out. They aren't like super close to being, uh, they're not, they're not illegal right now, but I actually also ordered a lift axle. So you can see, and if you watch videos on the lift axle, it like almost covers up the drums or the uh, chambers when you add it on there. So I just want to go ahead and replace those. So I don't have to worry about them for quite a while and you know have to maneuver around the lift when they come time to change so anyways we're gonna go find a truck stop we gotta take a seven hour and then we're gonna hit the road we ran down here to tampa florida the Mannheim auction there and picked up a cabin chassis which i'll show you guys here in a bit that's going to kansas city kansas so it's only like 30 feet long, 18,000 pounds. I'm gonna work on finding something else on the way to Kansas City to throw on as well. Uh, just to make it a, a decent load, you know? But other than that, I don't have anything else planned out for the rest of the week, so we are just gonna make our way up 75 here and uh, we'll check back in once we figure out our next move. Well, I parked like an idiot at this rest area because there's zero spots up there. But anyways, here's what we got on. It's our cab and chassis. Picked up at the Mannheim. I ended up just backing it up onto the top deck. So I had all this room in the back. That way, if I come across something on the way there, which I really am hoping I do, then I can uh, just throw it on the back and makes more money so that's the goal but we're gonna get headed back on the road i've been off the truck in here for a little while now and i'm not I gotta get myself back in the groove because i feel like i'm having to stop every every short amount of time here so I got about seven hours left on my clock. I don't think I'm gonna drive the full seven hours because I'm already split clocking it. That way I can get up and I would like to just stop before Atlanta so I can go through Atlanta really early in the morning. Really early in the morning and not have to deal with traffic. So that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. Now the next plan is to get out of here without pulling in front of somebody that's coming to the rest area, which nobody was coming, so worked out great. All right, we'll see you guys on the road here.